So here's where I'm at. I just finished all the third floor requests, uh, except, well, obviously up to the next gate for the fourth sector. Uh, so here's the plan. Obviously, I'll be able to get to the fourth sector for each of the characters, but thing is, is that I don't, I'm not going to bore you by exploring all the fourth sectors of everybody either. So we're going to clear Melody first, then Saizo, then Arrow. Then once it gets to the fourth sector of Arrow, I will progress his sector. And hopefully that gets, like, that's the story portion. And then I can end the episode and then uh, do my own cleanup of the rest of the sectors. So that's the plan. Unless the game ends, either or, I guess, right? Whatever comes first. Also, I did some demon summoning and uh, in my own time. And did I do anything else? Oh, actually, I do need to head out to. Holy Wait, that's Asura. <sighs> Holy shit, it's him. What are you thinking? Let's you go think with that. that'll work? Yeah, it's him. Fury Asura. But uh, yeah, I got some new demons. Actually, no, I didn't. I just used some stuff and kind of created some, some uh, extra demons for my compendium. Besides that, I we do need to do the extra quest that we picked up in the uh, in those Aki towers, the tower seat. So we'll have to go back sometime. I'll, I'll find somewhere to shoot more of that in. It's Anyways, fine. for now, it's time for battle. Here goes. That's a hit. I know we can. Right. Don't go to the trap. I don't think he's weak to anything. We gotta win this. Go. No matter what. Too slow. Yeah. What's our I'm not your baby, so get lost. Good damage though. You. Attack Initiate down. Insane. Wait, that did Boosting. no damage too. Well, anyone can Initiating. I love you. this. What's our okay. opener? I tried you know everything but do. ice. Okay. Eat this as a hit. We gotta okay. win this. No I think Asuna what? does not take physical. I think he's you know resistant to it. I'll get serious. Ah! <laughs> You don't have this. to tell me. Get no lost. matter what. I'll try to do it next turn, though. Prepare yourself. Die. Okay, he uses ruin, so he's What's not our resistant to it, it, so it has to be. Good idea. Beat him down. Oh, now he's weak to it. Interesting. Okay. Good idea. That's your cue. Do this. Go, Arrow. On it, Nailed it. Nice. Let's roll. That's How did he change his opinion? Just made himself I weak for no reason. Okay. I'm on. As long as you we don't work have together, to tell me. Truck, Take we got it away. This. How about this? Uh, Take it away. Yeah. How about that? Fine, I guess. What? You must be hungry. Rest of what? Much. Over already? Nice. Wait, he, he made that easy for me on purpose. Okay. It's been a while, but let's enjoy some more Amility lore. Maybe she finally made it out of the bedroom. Maybe we'll get to see how... Oh no, this is her past. Okay, I was gonna see. Maybe we get intel on how the real Iron Mask died. I can't believe it. They all turned into pixels. I guess you can say they died in Minecraft. Okay, I'll stop. It's like three in the morning right now. I don't have my I don't have energy to make these jokes.
Paul confirmed groomer. But I'm not going to talk more about that anymore because I... It's a video game, okay? It's not real. Who cares? That's a heck of a love story. And that's where it all started, huh? Obvious manipulation, too. I first met him on the day my hometown burned. It was over a decade ago. The foreign power's military was sweeping our country for insurgents, part of an aggressive counter-terror program. Counter-terror program. Interesting. Okay, we're not naming any names. I guess it's kind of pointless, though. I'm assuming whatever city that Milady's from isn't really important, so they're just going to sweep over her past like that. My home ended up in the crosshairs. In a split second of impact, I lost everything and everyone I'd ever loved. And as I sat there, thinking I was about to breathe my last, someone came and saved me. You know, my man Paul, he was ready. He was on the ball. He would one day become Iron Mask. But to me, in that moment, he was Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor. Seeing his smile against the flames and the chaos. There was nothing more beautiful, so I reached out to him and took his hand. He told me all about himself, but I was lost in those eyes. Barely heard a word. How is Iron Mask, the real Iron Mask, Paul Taylor, going to have the most basic and normal name out of everybody? Every, out of everybody in this sci-fi world, man's name is Paul Taylor. I don't know why I can't get over that. Sounds like love at first sight. He must have been pretty handsome. Oh, he was. But it was more than that. <laughs> I don't think you'd understand just yet. All he really wanted was the covenant you were carrying, though, right? Well, of course, there was more to it than good intentions. I found all of that out later. But it didn't really matter. There was just something bewitching about him, body and soul. He saved my life. So I decided it would be his. That's all there really is to it. Hmm. Well, everyone is entitled to live the life they live. Not for me to say. Okay, higher stacks as provide higher money, but I actually don't need money. That's crazy. I have like 2 million in my bank and I'm not even using it. I could buy out the entire Zafido shop and I'd still have some money. That's probably not true, honestly. But you know what? I'll get this one. Ailments. That would be useful. Say. Hey, Melody. Just curious. Are you a sadist? Look. That is a staggeringly rude question. And an unexpected one, besides. Do I even want to know what brought that on? For example. Well, it's just something I noticed. Whenever you're looking at an enemy we've poisoned or something, you get this look on your face. That's likely just my nerves showing. Under the circumstances, I can't ever truly relax. Hmm. But being all tense just makes you even more aggressive. I don't know. Oh, what? Okay. Nice, I can fuse Asuda now. My boy. From Blade and Soul. Uh, where am I? I'm disorientated. There I am. Okay. And I can unlock the fourth floor. Woo! I'm guessing there's five floors in total then. So we're pretty much almost at the bottom of each character. <laughs> yep, this definitely feels oh, like an expansive place. Alright, cool. So I'll pause it here for now and let's head back to the Sizo sector now. Get our little story bits and then, yeah. I wish the fast travel system was a bit more intuitive. I know I'm complaining, but like, why do I have to exit this map to then access the next sector? I wish I could just categorically sort each sector into, you know, Arrow, uh, Melody, and Sizo, and then just teleport via them instead of having to go back to the entrance. It's kind of unintuitive. In the year 2024, quality of life is everything. Here's the next one. 
Aren't you glad I'm showing you this? Skipping through the bullshit and getting straight to the lore. That's me. Oh, I tried to at least. Ew. I know we can win this. On it. Like ramp what do you breath. think right. might work? Maybe. Here goes. Nope. Nothing. You gonna right. try it out? Ready for takeoff? That's gotta hurt. All right, good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Good damage. Works for me. No, I'm not your risk, babysitter. Fire. Uh, let's do this for now. Get lost. There we go. Too late for regrets now. Charge! A little jump scare for you with hi ho. Oh, you'll need some lightning. No damage. What do you think? I'll cover you if it goes south. Might work? Yeah, that works. Hope this works. Lightning! There it is! Just what I right. But I don't have you know my stack. Do. Yeah. Go ahead, good Ringo. Plan. I got you, Melody. Oh, good. It's Actually, it's good if she heals, because then I got Double another stack. Your size, you got it. Oh, now that I need it. <laughs> you don't have to tip that her. I don't need the stack. You must be hungry. Dinner time! There we go. Almost fell asleep. So obviously overleveled for this sector. Let's just move on. I hope I'm not seeing this memory too late as well. Because now that we've had our conclusion with Ash, I hope it's not going to show something that I should have known before they kind of reconciled. the NPC from the uh, that, that stands outside of the Breaking Bad uh, convenience store. I know her. Yeah, you got him. You were great, man. Really? Thank you so much. Uh, uh, yeah, all in a day's work. And everyone stood up and clapped. Yeah, me too. Let's go. Oh my god, I was kind of hoping Saizo would clap for himself. That'd be hilarious. I would clap for myself. I'm the Obama putting a medal on the other Obama. <laughs> that takes me back. That's me. That was how things used to be when I was just starting out as a summoner. Wow. You looked so much more earnest. Well, yeah, because I didn't know anything. With no knowledge or experience, you've just got to fight head on for your wins. Was there a specific reason you became a summoner? My reason, huh? Well, I never really knew what I wanted to do for a living. I just kind of drifted through the city aimlessly. A professional deadbeat. And muggers I was prepared for, but magical threats? That one was a surprise. I would have wound up dead. Another supernatural fatality covered up. But then this devil summoner busts in and saves me. So I joined up and learned the ropes. I mean, come on. Badass vigilante exorcist? Now that's a career. Really? But after my first actual fight, well, you saw how it got to me. That lady thanked me for saving her, and it felt incredible. Smarmy little punk that I was. Nobody had really been grateful to have me around before. And that sealed the deal for you, huh? Yep. I was still just some dumb city kid, but... Helping people made me feel like I was somebody. Past tense. Why wouldn't you still be somebody? After all, you've probably grown a lot since then. <sighs> That's a stretch. I mean, I guess I have gotten better at some things, but I think once I got really deep in the summoner's world, I forgot a lot from the early days. It only took a couple fat paychecks. 
At some point, I decided I was only in the summoning game for the money. After that, I bounced back and forth between Phantom and Yadagarasu for a while, taking contracts. Made a tidy profit off their gang war, but made a lot of enemies, too. Sounds like that's one of the main reasons you're so stressed. Yeah. At the time, I figured acting slick and focusing on the job was better than overthinking it. But maybe I was just avoiding thinking about it at all. Honestly, that's probably part of why I went for Ash. She was my escape. But you genuinely liked Ash, right? You were happy with her. Even if it started as just an escape, it doesn't make your feelings less real. Yeah, I guess. I want to believe it. I want to think that what we had was real. And I want to make a world where we can live free. No summoner's karma to tie us down. We can just chase our happiness, together. Then you know what you have to do. Yeah. It's been a long time since I fought for something I really believed in, but... I guess I'll give it a shot. That's sweet. Okay. So Saizo kind of used to have uh, a very... Oh! There goes my phone alarm telling me to... Telling me to go to sleep. Oh, I already slept. Um, but uh, interesting. So Saizo actually had like pretty noble intentions when he started out as a summoner. He was like inspired. I guess he just comes from the city. So actually, unlike Arrow, who was an orphan, and Melody, who had her town burned to the ground by a unknown foreign war, Saizo actually has the least trauma growing up, where he decided to become a summoner basically, and um, he kind of became a freelance on his own and kind of saw how cruel the summoning world was and then got stuck in it. So, interesting. Learn more about his past this time. When recovering HP, chance for a demon... Whoa, that is really good. Wait, what? So if I heal Saizo, he gets a stack sometimes? Okay. Say. Hey, Saizo. Did you say you wanted to be a comedian? Am I remembering that right? Hey, join, join the party, Saizo. Pretty much. Yeah, I mean, come on. Getting paid to make people laugh? That job was made for me. But... Eh, uh, but still. Nothing beats the look on Asha's face when she's annoyed with me. Why? Huh? Why's that? Because it's easy to fake a smile. Angry faces feel more real. Or human, even. That is true. Although I don't really like making people angry, either. Because that means, uh... That means uh, I can't, uh, you know, it's like an aggro meter, right? Like when someone's angry at you, you can't just like leave the conversation, right? Well, you could, but it's harder to. I would, but it's like, eh, it's kind of hard to. Now, if you're not even involved in the conflict, then it's even more annoying. Like, let's say someone's angry in a room, and it's like, how do I awkwardly slip away from this situation? You know, you can't, no fast travel, right? And you can't skip the, the event, like it's a story cutscene, right? You gotta see it through to the end. But, uh, enough rambling. What do you desire, Can I level up still? Further crack what I do you can't. desire okay. in the name of evolution? Shut up, me. You don't talk like that. We know Ringo does not talk like that. Yeah, all right, let's conclude with Arrow and we'll keep going down his lane and see what is at the end of his uh of his path level 60 wow i might not meet the requirement for gate 4 then 64 i mean i have enough to get down there but i don't think i have enough to progress all the way maybe sector 4 is the last one then could be it's metatron Foolish. That's an endgame persona. Demon. Whatever. No, never mind. It's Sandal Phone. Okay. What's our oh. opener? Time to you know the drill. Here you go. Don't be yes. a hero. No lightning. You know no what taking a gamble? Wind. Oh, no wind. You know what Let's hope roll. this works. Fire. Can you handle this? No fire. They're strong. Still with me? Be on your guard. Alright, debuff. Get lost. There we go. Useless. Okay. Won't let, let me one see. way to find out. Divine Principality. 
Sure. I hate lightning strikes. Nice. Anyway, let's roll. Ooh. Fire resistant. Wind though. Ah! Okay. Good damage. What do you think? Okay. I mean, he's flipping resistant to it. What is he not resistant to then? Want a piece of this? Get rid of the ads first. Nice, still with me. Feeling lucky, Melody? Huh. Oh, fire break. Dance. I have that now, oh. right? Too late for regrets now. Yeah, because we all have fire anyways. So I'm not use it. I know we can. Okay. Okay, check this out. So I do. This good damage. What are you thinking? Oh crap! If only I did this sooner, because I know I'd get it. Actually, I can do it still. Yeah. Initiating no. do it. What are you yeah. thinking? Okay, so one. Can you handle this? What's all right? And then two. They're strong. And then three. You know the drill. And then four. And then four. Don't be a hero. Dance. Huge damage. Oh, wow, I'm surprised that killed. We're going full fire here. Sector 3 seems to be focused on the characters, so this will probably be about Arrow's past in the orphanage, maybe? Oh, maybe his first mission. Hey, it's just like Saizo, he was on the ground. enough. Nice footwork there. You've improved. But you can do better. Wait, I'm not done yet. Come on, Raven. One more round. You're really dedicated to this, huh? Of course. I have to be. I'm never gonna be a summoner like you. <laughs> I can't imagine higher praise than that. Makes me glad to be a summoner myself. But no, I think we'll call it here for today. There's something I want to talk to you about. Talk? Your spiritual control has gotten a lot more consistent. I can tell you built up your stamina too. You handle your demons like a pro. But most importantly, and I want you to understand this, you've got a good heart. That's the most crucial thing a summoner can have. <sighs> okay, so what I'm curious about now is, did Raven know that uh, Mangetsu put the Purple Covenant inside Arrow? Uh, I don't know the timeline of events though, like I don't know if Raven was still in uh, Yatakarasu during the events of uh, Gen Mayumi's experiment, or not necessarily, but Mengetsu when he implanted it. Uh, I don't know the timeline for that. If I had to guess, you take your strength of will from that promise, right? Yeah. I see. Well, Arrow, if I were you, I'd keep an eye out for word from Yatakarasu. Paperwork for official appointments could take a while, but it'll get here eventually. What? You mean... Yep. You're licensed. Now you're officially an agent of Yadagarasi. I'm... an agent? Look how happy Yoringo is for him. <sighs> Congratulations, Arrow. I know how hard you've worked to reach this point. <laughs> I'd never have gotten this far if we hadn't promised each other we'd be heroes. I know, Kaburagi. You're out there too. Fighting your own battles.
I saw a familiar face in there. It wasn't long after I met Kaburagi that I awakened my potential as a summoner. That's when a Yadagarasu scout saw my powers. They had me transferred to Komodori. Wait, 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 wait. It wasn't long after I met Kaburagi that I awakened my potential as a summoner. I think this is a typo. I think he means Raven here. Because he met Kaburagi as a child at the park. Um, when he wasn't even in the same orphanage that Raven was handling after. So that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I think this is a... I think I found an actual typo. Or like a lore break typo. Yeah, it was after he met Raven that he awakened to his potential. Okay. If I'm right, then uh, woo. But this is like my 4 a.m. brain trying to process info too, so... Maybe I'm actually wrong. And at Komodori is where I met Raven. I spent my teen years there, and when I graduated, I found out about Devil Summoners, and that Raven was one of the best. I knew I wanted to be a hero, but when I saw how he fought to make the world a better place, I realized he was the kind of hero I wanted to be. So, I set my sights on training to be a Devil Summoner, hoping one day I'd match up to Raven. And you figured that's how you'd fulfill your promise to Kaburagi. Yeah. He'd done the same thing. I met up with him again when I infiltrated the Phantom Society. We had this long talk about how our lives had gone after I left the city orphanage. How'd he do? It wasn't all that different from my situation. After I got transferred to Komodori, he awakened his abilities too. And one of Phantom's agents picked him up. So the only reason you two ended up on opposite sides was just... a twist of fate. If Kaburagi had awakened his power first, or if the Phantom Society had found me at the orphanage before Yadagarasu stepped in, then things might have been completely different. Maybe it wouldn't have turned out like this. Well, that's a hypothetical. Ion doesn't really think in hypotheticals. Or, well, they didn't before. Ion doesn't exactly have a concept of time. All they see is cause and effect. And what humans perceive as linear time is just a long sequence of that. But now, I understand the difference between past, present, and future. So I think I get what you're thinking. It's what ifs, right? If I had done one thing different, how would my life have changed? Then I'm guessing you also know why there's no point agonizing over the past. Well, yeah. But even if you know worrying's pointless, you're still gonna do it. Hey, Ringo. Do you think I made the wrong choice? I think that's up to you, Arrow. You're the only one who can decide what wrong means. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, maybe I got too stuck in my own head. True and true. You are the only one that can decide what is right and wrong. Death blow stack. When enemy is slain, when de- Whoa! Holy crap, they're giving, they're, they're giving me stacks on stacks. Okay. Heck yeah, let's do that. Wait, I might need this one too for a given distance enemies appear more often. So I can just have five risky enemies appear. Oh, by the way, I have something to say about that. So like the risky enemies, I fought one of them in the Soul Matrix and it was my doppelganger. Super tough enemy, level 75. Got my ass handed to me. But uh, I was playing on easy, so obviously I was able to continue. Uh, beater. And I got this cool accessory called Sapphire, which basically gives me like a huge stat boost. Um, but yeah, cool little enemy, doppelganger. Unfortunately, it's not a demon, so I can't actually recruit myself. But that would be really cool if I could summon myself. Because yeah, missed opportunity, I guess. But oh well. I'm gonna get this one. Hey, Arrow. How did it feel to die? I'm just curious about your perspective since you actually came back from it. Hmm. It was definitely weird. It was dark. I was alone. I didn't know where I was, but I was okay with it. I was... I felt... I felt peaceful. Comfortable. Like I could stay there forever. Hey! I'm just an agent of Ion. What do you think will happen when I die? I wonder if there's everything beyond death for someone like me. No point overthinking it now. You'll know when the time comes, but until then... You can focus your energy on living. Yeah. That's why I play these games. Gotta fit in all these 
beautiful memories before I die. Because when I do, I'm taking nothing to the grave. Except my anime figures, maybe. You can you can you can bury me with them. Don't worry. No problem. Just put like a little shrine around me and <laughs> open casket anime funeral. Now that'll be something. Alright. So let's progress arrow now that we are in the fourth sector. Now we can relax. See how far we can make it? Holy, this is looking expansive already. Alright, I'll try this side first. If this ends up being a bit too long-winded, I may up. cut this out. Careful. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see how well Emily, we make our time. Get ready. Just because I don't... Since Arrow's sector is Enemy. now kind of story-bound, I don't want to, like, do some side progression that ends up, uh... Now we can relax. And ends up being like, oh, there's, like, small cutscenes along the way. Because Enemy. there have been for these other sectors, yeah. for like one to three, but they're just like simple dialogue stuff, and it's not really too significant that you would lose, uh, you would lose context on the actual cutscene that I actually showcase here. Oh, Saizo's here though. What? How's it going? Yo, long time no see. I've been hearing plenty about the messes in your wake though. Sounds like you've been busy. Following your instincts again. I know what happens when you start saying that. But Ozumi was keeping you on a tighter leash. You did great. I know. I know. You're after the Grand Executor. Well, don't worry. Arrow, I got your intel covered. And you always get the friend discount, of course. What? Oh. Is this like lore when Saizo was still a freelancer? And like, I guess him and Arrow worked together a couple times? Yeah, that makes sense. I can believe that. I mean, he did say he did work for Yatakarasu. Where does the red one go? I want to know that. I don't like the portals. Wait. Oh. Oh. I see. Okay. Now we can relax. Interesting. All right. So the the red portals take me back to the Enemy. entrance. Okay, got it. Careful. So don't take the red portals. They are. They are fake. Now we can relax. Just like everything on social media. Do not believe anything. Except for me. Enemy. I'll have you know I'm I'm omniscient in over forty-seven different now categories. We can relax. What are those categories? Look out. The games that I've completed. Yeah. Actually, no. I think at this time I've completed fifty-seven <laughs> games. By my standards, at least, so yeah. Oh god, it's RNG. Okay, well, I tried the one to the left here. Guess I'll try this one, then. Oh, it actually worked. Nice. Look out! Get ready! Where? I can't tell where the enemies are. There's no, like, sensor that tells me where they might be. By the way, this is a one-way path, so it's not the wrong way. Take this. Yay! Is it just relax. me or are enemies spawning more often? Because if that is true, I am uh, not looking forward Look to that. Also, did I come from here? Now we can relax. Oh, interesting. It goes the same way. Ringo. I'll take this though. Interesting, okay. Well I'll now go this way then relax. I guess. Somehow I ended up here. Look out! I might have to head back to that little middle square Look. area then and take the other two portals and see where that leads me. There's the same copy-paste quest here with the sector mobs and then the <sighs> tougher mob and then the Look. collect pen of this item. <sighs> generic stuff, but Incoming. I just want to make it to the end so I can see if there's anything <sighs> worth it. If not, I'll... What? Oh god damn it, I made it to this now area, okay. Can relax. So it, was, it was a fake area, got it. Which means I need Enemy. to head back. Now we can relax. So from here, go up. And then go up again. Alright, I need to try the, the top one now. The, yeah, the top square. 
Oh boy. I don't know if this game has NG Plus either. Well, no, actually, no, this is an Atlas game. Yeah. I mean, not that I have anything to go on for point of reference Enemy. for the Soul Hacker's Careful. ID, but most likely does. <sighs> Thankfully, this game is probably one of the shortest I've ever played, so. Now we can relax. Yes, this is new. Excellent. Over I'll be able there. to get, uh, get through this quite quickly again. <laughs> Careful. And get my look back underway. This game also yeah. really likes cubes. That's like the one thing I noticed. Cubes, now triangles, not so much circles Yay! though. You know that? Bye -bye. Maybe Atlas doesn't like circles. Enemy. What? Careful. How did I end up here now? Now we can relax. Okay. Well, I guess I'll try this one then now. Did I go here yet? No, I haven't. Okay, good. Enemy. That was close. So this Bingo. one's new. This must be the path forward, honestly, because there's get nowhere ready. else to go if I get teleported close. back. Yeah, there's a teleporter right here. Okay, let me just activate this. Cool. All right. I don't think I have Enemy. enough points, though, to progress. I'm only at 65 <sighs> per arrow. Look out. So how do I keep going? Can't, Enemy. can't just get level ready. up my friendship. Goodbye. Now I can relax. Okay, game. Let's see. What do you do? What are you going to do? Because I can't level up my friendship. I, I have relax. no more hangouts. Yeah, I need to be at least 70. How? How do I get it to 70, though? That is interesting. Hmm. Yeah. How do I get it to 70? Because... I can't, uh, I have no more hangouts. Enemy. Oh. Wait, well, yeah, yeah, and, and the story is to explore my soul matrix. So how exactly do I do that? Hmm. Because I'll have to do some research on that. Well, now we this might be relax. a super short episode, but for now, I do have something else to do, and that is to do this one, the mermaid quest. So let's head to Shin Sando. While I ponder this question, uh, for the next bid. So much for ending the game, I guess, this episode. <laughs> Damn it. My friendship is the only thing keeping me away from, from diving deeper into my, my pretty member's soul. Okay, so look for a man, right? You? Hmm. You know, this bar is huge and... Never seen anyone besides Hughes working. Okay. You've been saying the <laughs> same thing forever. Maybe it's the college guy? What do I do? Oh dear. Okay, no, they're just talking about the economy still. Oh, you're new. Huh? Huh? Yeah, I work at Undyne. Said his name is Hans, and he worked there about six months ago. Can't say I know him. No, oh, now that you mention it, I think there was a guy named Honda who joined around that time. Hmm. Yeah, Honda's a part timer. Or at least he was. Joined about six months ago. Seemed kind of gloomy and didn't talk a whole lot. Honestly, I don't really know much about him. Yeah. That said, a while back, some old acquaintances of him invited him to work with... Invited him to work with him or something like that. Next time we knew, he quit. Okay. Huh? So to answer your question, yes, I do work at it, but no, I don't know anyone known Later. named Hans. You're looking for Honda, though. Old acquaintance, you might try tracking him down. <laughs> That's great and all, but where the hell is Honda? Hey. Okay. Well. What does the request say? Summoner crowd. Okay, got it. What? How was I supposed to know? I was supposed to head to a summoner district then. Just because it's not my guy, does that mean he's a summoner? Hmm. Listen up. Uh, okay. No, same old. You? <laughs> same old. Got it. It better not be you again. Yo! Hey there, miss. How's that business with Black Frost go? I see. A fake, huh? Well, I'm glad he's had a change of heart. <laughs> we were enemies then, but I've long since forgotten about our feud these five years ago. This man wants to be a protagonist so bad. Yo. 
Huh? I'm Hans. You got a job for me or something? You're in luck. I only recently got back into the business, so I'll take on just about anything. Need to find a lost pet? Want to know if someone's cheating? Just name it. <laughs> you. What? What? Mermaid's looking for me? Sorry, but that ship sailed. Just leave me alone, alright? Just go see her. No. It's got nothing to do with you. This is our... This is my problem. Truth is, I'm a pathetic excuse for a summoner, but I just don't have the knack for it. Around six months ago, I took a contract for a simple demon extermination, but I made a bad call and almost got Mermaid killed. <laughs> and just summon another one, but... <laughs> oh god. It was all because I was her summoner. I didn't quit while I was ahead. I would have eventually hit the point of no return. That's why I quit. Sure, I guess I did end up getting back into it. But in any case, I can't get involved with her anymore. I just want her to forget about me. She'll be happier that way. I know someone just like you. Starts with an S, ends with an O. <laughs> what? You told him about Saizo and how he found happiness overcoming the summoner's karma. Whoa. Are you serious? He went so far as to risk his life for her? Well, he kind of literally died for her, too. <sighs> I guess when it comes down to it, I really am just running away, huh? I'm running away from the responsibility of looking out for her. That's the duty of a summoner. Of a man. Yeah. Alright, I'll go see her. Just once more. I have to work things out with her. <laughs> if you were stuck in the woods, would you pick, would you pick the bear or the mermaid? Hmm, good question. Alright, so he's headed off to the Ozaki Towers. Got it. Guess I'll head over then. Sweet. Alright, perfect. In the meantime then, or for next episode, I will prep, uh... I will prep the Sector 4. Where's the mermaid shit? Here? I don't think so. Uh, I'll prep the Sector 4... Uh, quest and progress them so that at, even though I can't do arrow which is awkward I can at least do Milady and Saizo because they're 70. How did arrow get so behind in points? Damn. I didn't know I neglected him that badly. I'm so sorry arrow. It was not my intention. I'm actually trying to balance everyone out equally but I don't know what to do now that I don't have you at 70. It's, it's kind of awkward. Our our relationship Look is out. kind of at a standstill, you know? Can relax. Almost like that mermaid. He's been waiting for Get ten ready. long yeah. years. Can relax. In this flipping corridor. All done. Ah, there you are, Odingo. I was waiting for you. Thanks so much for finding Hans for me. How'd it go? Well, <laughs> he was being really awkward and saying all this silly stuff. <laughs> I just gave him a good smack and had him restore a contract. Yep. All's well that ends well. Damn. <laughs> Should have come back. I can hear you, you know. <sighs> You're the one who said I was too weak. But I should just give up. That's what started this whole thing. Mm. It was just a figure of speech. I didn't think you'd take me seriously. Besides, I always knew you were weak. I just decided I'd stay with you no matter what. Huh? I didn't catch that. Think you could say that one more time? Huh? Shut up, stupid. Why don't you go get yourself eaten by a chimera or something? Oh, come on. What? I barely just get back and she's already yelling at me again? Thanks. Anyways, Odingo, I really appreciate you doing all this. So thanks. Oh, Dala Dala. <laughs> all right, you. Move it. I'm going to hammer you into shape every single day till you're dead in the ground. <sighs> this sucks. Uh-huh. Well... Love Care comes to... in many forms. And abuse is one of them. Not my words. Uh, incoming. It's the words now of a mermaid. Which mermaid? Good question. It's one amongst the sea of hearts. Or no, sea of... Uh... Crap, what do they call it in Persona? Sea of personalities? Oh, whatever. Since it's kind of awkward to end the episode on that, I'm gonna get some flavor text from some. Food. Might I have a word? And then we're good. 
Humble mushroom rice porridge. Thanks, Fig. I really wish I could hang out with Fig. It makes no sense. Why can't I hang out with my other part? That's like prime opportunity for some for some like fourth wall um, Osaka style comedy straight man funny man jokes. You know, Fig can be the straight man. I can be the funny man. Or, you know, she could be the she could be the straight AI. I can be the funny AI, you know? Such a missed opportunity for that. Alright. Oh. She made this and analyze well, HP recovers as you explore a dungeon. Hell yes, it's a new item too. I'm, I'm eating that now. This looks amazing. Whoa, now this is a spread. Looks great. Mm. Still too hot. Reminds me. A bit like a risotto. Never had that, isn't it? I can't realize Japanese cuisine had an analog like this. Um... It's a completely known... It's a commonly known as zosui. Rice cooked in broth, apparently. <laughs> yeah, my tongue! This is hot. Look at Oringo hammering that food away. Time to get rolling. Good stuff. Just why I needed to push myself a little harder. And but the real question is, when AIs eat, do they also shit?